Hello YouTubers, my name is Attila Mate from Blue Sky Photography and today I would like to talk to you about a topic which is... Uh, uh, I never saw on YouTube before this problem and it is about the Fuji X-T20 and the white balance on the Fuji X-T20. Now, I really really like Fuji X-T20. It is one of my favorite mirrorless cameras, I tell you. Until now I used Panasonic mirrorless cameras, I used Olympus mirrorless cameras, I used Fuji mirrorless cameras, Sony mirrorless cameras. I never used the Canon M series and I never used the, uh, the Pentax series mirrorless cameras. But other than that, the major ones I used. And I have to tell you that the Fujifilm X-T20, the, the handling and the look and, and the overall uh, quality of the camera, I really like. Now... This is one of the small little issues I have with the X-T20 and I want to share with you guys. Maybe you are you have the same problem and maybe you can learn from it. You can resolve maybe your own issues with this video. Now that would be the white balance uh, on the camera. And especially I'm talking about in video now, when you shoot video with the camera. I didn't really notice in, uh, still on the still side. But on the video side, I noticed several times that this is an issue. And if you look back when I will, uh, I, I will tell you about this issue. And if you look back in my videos, you will notice. Maybe you didn't notice, but you will if, I pay, if you pay attention on it. Now, what is the problem? The problem is that the white balance in video, sometimes it's changing. In, uh, just in a matter of seconds, you know, it will, be, uh, it will go to much cooler. And it will go to much warmer, you know, and it will it will change in one second or maybe less than a second. You know, it will change suddenly. Whoop! It will go up to much cooler, and then it will come back to much warmer. You know, and this is usually happens when the background is um, is a unicolor background. The example I made a video about the Pentax uh, uh, K1 Mark II it, when it was released. You know, and I was uh, at that moment. You know, I didn't have the possibility to. Uh, uh, to sit down, you know, in my usual spot here in my living room or the example in my uh, little studio to set up, you know, I didn't have that, you know, and then I just had to make a video uh, on the run, you know, like, and I just stood in the front of a white wall. Now, you, if you look attent in that video, you can see that the white balance of the footage is changing during while I'm, I'm filming, you know. And that is really strange. I have to tell you that this is the first time I, I've met these kind of problems. I, I didn't see, you know, anywhere before this kind of issue. And uh, first when I noticed, you know, I did try to, uh, to stop the camera, restart the camera. I did try to reset the white balance, you know. But when the white balance is on auto mode, this is when it happens. And then I put the white balance on manual mode because I... <clears throat> Usually I set everything on my camera manually except in video in video I like to to leave it in in auto mode because honestly, I'm not really uh, Familiar, you know, I, sh I set the shutter speed and the aperture maybe but the white balance I used to leave in auto mode But this case, you know to resolve this issue I set the white balance in video as well manually and then the problem was gone so I think in my opinion, that because of the, the, the white wall or cream wall or whatever color is that wall, you know, that the sensor, the sensor in the camera got, I don't know, the, the, I, I really don't know. I don't know what happened, you know, got confused or something. I don't have a clue. But when I sat on manual mode, all this problem was gone. So if you, if any of you over there had this kind of issue, please feel free and leave a comment down below. Now, if you want to see how to set the Fujifilm X-T20 in, in manual mode, the white balance, you know, I will show you that, how, you, how to set, you know, in, in, uh, in manual mode, the X-T20. I, uh, I will show you just now, immediately, I will uh, go into the camera's menu, and then you can see what I'm talking about. So, uh, let's get into the camera's menu, and uh, let's see how to set the X-T20's white balance manually to match your exposure. So let's see that. So we are looking at the, the screen of the Fujifilm X-T20. And uh, let's see how to set the white balance in the X-T20. First of all, you have over here the quick menu. 
and if you get into the quick menu then you see the white balance over here on the corner and you can see that the white balance at the moment is set at the manual now if you want to set to auto you turn this wheel over here and then oh sorry you have to select the white balance and then you turn this wheel and you can see white balance auto is selected or manual one is selected now you can um, set i think it's three profiles you can set three separate profiles so you can change just very quickly you know the white balance and you don't have to enter in the menu all the time but uh, i i use usually on the this profile one and the profile two now let's see how to set these profiles in the menu this was the quick menu so if you go out of here you have to go into the menu you set the menu button and you go into the first menu list over here which is the image quality menu list and then on the first page sorry first page you go down here white balance and you press the right side of the uh, uh, of the this control wheel you know the right side and you can see that there you have auto white balance custom one custom two custom three and kelvin as well you can set over here in kelvin as well now you can if you want you can just select the Kelvin if you are familiar with Kelvin. And I have to tell you that this is the most accurate if you select in Kelvin. But in the same time, you have to know all these Kelvins, what it means. So you have to, uh, you have to know what it means Kelvin 4800 or Kelvin 6700 or so on and so on. So if you don't uh, want to use this, you can go back to custom number one and hit again the right side of the dial and you see this box now this box is important you know where you point the camera in that moment now my camera is pointed at the couch so obviously it won't be really good if i set my white balance at the moment the best would be a gray card you know to be in in the front of you and if you have a gray card or if you don't have a gray card a white card or whatever you know and then you 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 hit the ok button and then you get this on your screen and then with the count with with this uh, uh wheel dials you know i call it wheel dials now uh, four dimensional dials or whatever you want to call it i don't know how you how you call it you know normally i think it's a, a control wheel or whatever no it's you know this this one so you can you can select the points by pushing down or forward or whichever direction you want in the same time you will see on the camera screen how the white balance is changing you can see it's getting greenish now if we go up here getting now bluish this is really blue now you see and this is getting kind of reddish yeah going down again so you can set over here how to use it now if you like your image is kind of a little bit cool color then you leave in the middle and just move up two or three points until you see on the until you see the image which one you like now usually i use around this area where it is now at the moment and the second one i will do i will hit this to the uh, the okay button if you hit that is set custom number one is set for that um, uh, white balance now if i come back over here and i go to number two you can see immediately that the screen got a little bit much more warmer now i said this because if you are in an environment where you have a lot of tungsten light or you have a lot of uh, uh, normal bulbs you know halogen bulbs or these kind of things you have to set different white balance for tungsten light and different white balance for halogen bulbs now obviously if the the lightning is warmer you have to set a warmer white balance on your camera so in post-processing you will be able to pull it back because if you have in your shot two different white balances it will be really really difficult to fix it in post-processing because one in the front of the shot you will, you will have one white balance in the second on the back side you know on the background you will have a different white balance and that's not good so that's why you have to set your white balance accordingly to your lightning or to your lightning conditions now this is how you set again if you go in here you see the screen you hit ok you get this and then you can set whatever you want to set you know it's it's up to you completely what you want to do now this is how you set in fujifilm xt20 now i have i own also the fujifilm xa3 and i tell you that it is exactly the same in the xa3 the menu system is a little bit different 
but the settings in the XA3 it is the same story. You have to go in white balance, you go to custom and so on and so forth. So I hope this video will be helpful to you guys. I hope that you liked it. If you liked it, please like and subscribe and share my videos. If you want to support this channel, please don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and uh, hit the notification button near the subscribe button to get notified when I upload another video. And other than that, I wish you a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Take care guys.